So today I'm going to be reviewing episode 1 of the most highly anticipated anime of the fall 2013 season. Kill la Kill. Brought to you by Studio Trigger, aka the creators of Uren Lagan, aka one of the most classic mech anime out there. Alright, so for starters with this episode 1, definitely gotta say it's nothing like Gurren Lagan as far as the concept. The concept is pretty straightforward. There's this school, they're pretty much oppressed by the student council, and there's these uniforms, and I got a big giggle, I'm not gonna lie, out of the uniforms. It's definitely an homage to Journey to the West, but it also reminds me of Dragon Ball with the Goku uniforms with the stars. And I just like how kind of wacky it is with the uniform. You definitely get a bit of a silly vibe in all the madness and chaos that's going on. Because there's action, there's, you know, a lot of intense stuff going on with fights and whatnot, but there's also a lot of humor within it. So far, the main character, Ryoko, she's nothing original or anything like that, but I like the fact that she is a kick-ass female. She's on a quest for revenge. Something always, you know, it's very basic. There's nothing so far that is out the park original from what I've seen in this episode. She's out for revenge. Revenge. Somebody killed her father and left those pair of scissors behind. That's why she's dragging them along. One of my favorite things, I guess, about the series thus far is the fact that the main character is a female. And so far, she seems like she don't take no shits. She's going to go hard and do whatever it takes to get her revenge. And it has a bit of a serious vibe, but also comedy so far from what I can tell. Like when she kicked that boxer dude's ass and his clothes just completely got ripped off his uniform. And then he was just there like naked getting his ass kicked. That shit was freaking hilarious. Although I did notice a little touch of fan service in there when she got her new uniform that was pretty much like a one-piece bathing suit where it was just like barely covering her tits. But that's not nothing different from what we got with Gurren Lagan. I mean, anybody that's seen Gurren Lagan would know Yoko. Enough said. And one of the head of the student council, the girl Satsuki, pretty much kind of reminds me of a girl from the anime fairy tale. Her name is Kagura. She looks almost identical to her, same clothing, a sword and whatnot. So again, so far from what I can tell from this anime based off first impressions, it's nothing that's breaking the mold or anything, but it is kind of like trying to do something a little bit more, I guess, unique with all the tropes that it takes from different series. Now, as far as the art style goes, it was very simplistic for the most part. The art style, the animation looked for the most part very fluid and whatnot, but the art is definitely very simplistic, and you could tell that they're running on a budget. Not getting that Attack on Titan art style, but it still sometimes gets really wacky and unique. Especially some of the freeze frames are really detailed out of nowhere, and then it goes back to the wacky art, so it definitely almost feels as though, like, you're getting a little bit of that fully coolie wackiness in here. And as far as episode one goes, for the most part, I enjoyed it. I liked the concept that was set up. It seems straightforward. I could definitely see some big plays coming up soon because, like, if anyone's seen Gurren Lagann, once again, they start off slow and then it ends up with a big payoff very soon after. So, from what I get so far, it seems interesting and it seems like it could go very dark but teetering on, like, a comedic aspect. So, I'm liking it so far from what I get. And judging from what I can tell the main character, Ryoko, I'd imagine that she's gonna go very dark to find out who killed her father and seek revenge. I'd say for her first episode, it was pretty good. Nothing extravagant. I give this one 7.5 out of 10. I'm liking where it's going so far and I'm liking the fact that for the most part again it is very straightforward and I mean at the end of the day I love kick-ass females fighting so I'm all for this so far and I mean come on they made Lagan how can they possibly do any wrong if you've seen episode one of Kill a Kill what is your first impression of it did you like it do you think that it will live up to the standard of Gurren Lagan I mean it's gonna be really hard to fill those shoes but you never know what could happen what do you think about the main protagonist do you think that she's kick-ass I like where it's going so far I like seeing that she kind of has like this dark past but at the same time she's nice and kind hearted is just mainly she's focused on her goal she isn't too cruel where like you know the kids that try to mug her she let them go when they were pretty much saying sorry so i like her personality that she has some good in her but when it comes to her revenge she's gonna fuck you up and just destroy you i'm not exactly sure if i'm gonna review any more episodes after this let me know if you guys want to see me review any more i like where it's going but it's so far it's not nothing you know running home like some attack on titan or some craziness but that's all i have for this review thanks for watching hope you enjoy thumbs up if you can't wait to see more kill a kill because because so far they're setting up something interesting. Let's see where it goes from here. I'm Fennel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.